This is a video for how to go about creating your basic automata box in Fusion 360. We will be using a top-down approach to make the box. So we have our open Fusion 360 file. The first thing we want to do is go up and hit the save button and we're going to call this automata box. We're just going to call this our basic automata box and we're going to say save and you're going to notice it's going to call it automata box up here where it says unsaved you notice it said unsaved for a second and it switched to automata box remember we are a cloud-based program in fusion 360 different than autodesk inventor that's housed on the hard drive of a computer so it might take a second for things to update but based upon your web connection you are able to get things updated reasonably quickly the dimensions we will use to create the automata box in fusion 360 will be taken from the PLC PLTW box kits that you can get from the PLTW store. What you see here, we will only be um, focusing on these five pieces here. We are ultimately be creating this box in one Fusion 360 file. For the sake of this video, we will not be putting in the side or the top holes. We will do that in a separate video. Note that the bottom piece and the top piece are the same dimensions. They just have one, the top piece has holes in it and the bottom piece does not. So when we look at the bottom piece dimensions, we used a digital dial caliper and took some pictures, and we're going to notice that it's 5 wide by 4 deep by 0.23 thick, or, or tall, what we might be able to call that. So you can notice we're just looking at a top view of these as far as getting the um, you know width and depth dimensions, and we're looking at the height dimension here. So we're going to go back to Fusion 360, and what we're going to do is start for ourselves a new component. Now I'm going to right-click on Automata Box up here and go to New Component, and you're going to notice something starts down here that gives us another component. I'm going to tap twice, and I'm going to call this Bottom Piece, and I'm going to hit Enter. We're going to go up and we're going to click on create sketch and I'm going to choose a work plane. And we're going to come up to two point rectangle and I'm going to click on my origin and as I drag out we said it was 0.23 so I'm going to say 0.23 and hit tab and I'm going to put in five and I'm going to hit enter. Now we can go up to finish sketch or we can hit E on our keyboard and it's going to automatically go to extrude and I'm going to put in a distance of four. If we go back to our dimensions here remember we were at five the height was 0.23 and we're going to put in the depth at 4. So I'm going to put in 4, I'm going to enter, and we automatically have for ourselves our bottom piece. I want to right click on the bottom piece and I want to go up to ground. That means that this will not move. It is stuck. So when I try to place anything else, it's going to actually stay grounded and that means it has 0 degrees of freedom. We're going to go ahead and create these side pieces now. We're going to go to but down to the side pieces and notice that they are 4 by 4 by 0.23. So we're going to go back to Fusion 360 and I'm going to right click on Automata Box and I'm going to go down to New Component and I'm going to click on Create Sketch and I'm going to click on the top surface of our bottom piece and you're going to notice it's going to nicely rotate for me. I'm going to click on Two Point Rectangle I'm going to click on my origin, which will also be my datum, and I'm just going to drag down until it kind of snaps at 4, and I'm going to hit tab up here at the top, and I'm going to say 0 0.23, and I'm going to hit enter. Hit E on my keyboard. I'm going to click inside the surface. Maybe click on my house button to give myself a nice isometric view, and I'm going to put in 4. Remember, it was 4 by 4 by 0 0.23, so I'm going to put in 4, and I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to click on my house button and automatically you're going to notice that it's kind of showing that the bottom piece is in a watermark and we now have a solid because we're only working on component 2. I'm going to tap twice on component 2 and I'm going to call this a left side piece and hit enter. Now up at the top where you see automata box, you can see that little circle is not filled in. If I click inside the circle, it's going to activate the assembly. We're going to go ahead and create another component. We're going to right click and go to new component and we're going to do a right side piece. So let's go ahead and tap twice and I'm going to type right side piece and hit enter. I'm going to go up to create sketch. I'm going to click on the top surface. Same thing as the left side piece just on a different side. We're going to find our um, constraint there. We're going to drag straight down, hit tab and go to point two three, and hit enter. Hit E on our keyboard. Automatically we're inside our surface. I'm going to highlight this and put in 4 and hit enter. Go back up to automata box, activate our assembly. Now let's go back to our PowerPoint here. We're going to go back up to the bottom piece dimensions, except for now we just got to put a top piece on. So again, we're not going to put in any holes. We're just going to basically place another piece on top of this. That again is 5 by 4. So we're going to go back to Fusion 360. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to new component and I'm going to tap twice inside of component 4 and I'm going to type top piece and hit enter. Grab hold to create sketch. 
going to click on top of the surface. And one thing you'll notice as we go into two-point rectangle is it'll find the origin, and sometimes it can kind of have a tough time finding, you know, some place to snap. So I'm going to hit Escape and get out of that and go to Create, and we're going to go down to Project slash Include, and we're going to click on Project, and I'm going to project the whole entire square. And what you'll notice on the outside, once I go to Create two-point rectangle, is it gives me these joints, and I can click on one corner and drag all the way out, and notice I'm perfectly five by four. Hit E on my keyboard. Let's go up to our house button. Click inside the surface. Now sometimes you'll have to click inside two surfaces if it created two surfaces. I'm going to go to distance. I'm going to go 0.23. And I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go back to up to automata box. I'm going to activate my component. And we now have the basic part of our box. Now we want to create for ourselves the back piece that kind of fits inside of this area. Now when we go to our back piece you'll notice that it's actually four and a half by four. But our dimensions are basically going to be automatically made for us in Fusion 360 because we're automatically back here on the back and we can just go ahead and project some points. So we're going to right click on automata box and go to new component and we're going to tap inside of component and we're going to call this back piece and hit enter and I'm going to go up to create sketch and we're going to click on the back surface of the box and you'll notice that there's not a lot projected in here right now you know we can come up to two point rectangle but it's not really seeing anything so that's where project geometry really comes in handy we're going to go up to project you could have clicked the letter P on your keyboard but just showing you where some of the uh, icons are and we're going to go to two point rectangle and we're going to click and we're going to just snap around you know so we're at four by four and has about 4.54 because we had those 0.23 distances you're gonna have a little bit of a different width dimension here I'm gonna right click and say okay hit E on my keyboard now it's important to come up to your house button and kind of flip around because we're gonna be negative here because the surface that we're in we don't want to be positive we're actually going on the other side of the plane we're putting a negative 0.23 and we're gonna say okay and we're gonna go back up to our automata box and we're gonna activate and we're gonna click on our house button and we now have for ourselves our basic automata box created. Now this is a top-down approach to creating parts because we created all of these parts based upon the other pieces and we're able to create separate pieces. Notice that each one of these pieces is different so I could right click on any one of these pieces you know and I can go to save as an STL file if I want to 3D print just that piece you know I can export this I can change you know all different kinds of things as far as the properties or appearance we'll get into that in other videos but we created the basic construction of the box in Fusion 360 through just really one Fusion file, although we have different pieces set up here. So this has been a video on how to go about creating your automata box from a top-down approach in Fusion 360.